So let's talk about how to set up the filters so you can create a notch filter or a band reject filter. Now, if you look on the virus, you see over here where it shows you all your different filter bands. You have low pass, high pass, band pass, and band stop. Now the band stop is really nice because that's kind of what we're trying to get. Now sometimes though when you use a band stop filter, you still get a lot of those high-end frequencies that you know are kind of annoying. For, for example, a bass line with a notch filter sounds really cool when it's sweeping down the envelope. Um, it gives it almost like a phasing sound but you still have so much of that high end frequency that it actually distracts from the lead lines or even the chorus. So with the, with the virus, what you can do is actually set it up so you're using the second cutoff filter as a band stop and the first one as a low pass filter. So let's hear what just the low pass sounds like. I'm gonna select only filter one for now. I'm going to give it some envelope. Traditional. Resonance. Sounds cool. So now let's add both the filters. Now they're both currently on low pass. So it's just boosting the resonance, basically. However, if we select filter two, and we go down to band stop, right? Now, because we're still on filter two, I can adjust the resonance independently from the first cutoff. I find I get the best results with no resonance on a band stop filter, especially on the virus. It creates more of a of a notch. Now the thing is though is because these filters are linked, or you can unlink them, but it's nice to just offset the band or the you know the band stop filter from the actual low pass. So that way the band pass is beneath the low pass. Otherwise if it's the other way around you're not going to hear the band stop because the first one is taking off all the frequencies above the cutoff. So now you can hear right now if we set cut off filter to say 43 and filter to offset to, well, we'll do this, plus 38. You don't hear the band stop. Now, if we set the cutoff below into a negative number of the second filter, say negative 27, Now let me push both filter buttons so that way they're linked on the control side of things. If I turn the envelope amount all the way down, so I can manually... So you can hear that. Now if I were to adjust the offset again on filter two to a plus value, it's just a low pass. Okay, so I'll keep it negative. So it just adds a different dimension to your sound, which can be really nice when you do have, say, envelope amount fully set, you got the offset set correctly. Give it a little bit slower. just adjust your envelopes to taste. So my amplitude envelope, technically I always leave it up. I create a little bit of a, of a slower attack just so I don't get that fast clip sound in the beginning. Because um, these filter envelopes are extremely fast, or envelope generators, excuse me. Now the filter envelope, that's what I like to make really long, you know, 
really slow attack, real slow decay. Sometimes I'll use a little bit of sustain um, and then I'll just leave the filter pretty much the release right by the release of the amplifier. So you can get a really cool um, different sound while still using low pass filter with any amount of resonance that you like um, while also adding the band stop filter of the second filter in the virus. Thanks.